Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today I'm gonna ride Mr. Zazu because I definitely think we need to do a video that's fully dedicated to him. We have not done one in a while. Bye Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> She's just scurrying around looking for grain. But anyways, I just really wanna spend time with him and ride him and enjoy him and share him with you horse lovers as well. Like I said, I wanna do a little bit of a riding series showing some of the horses that aren't always in the videos, like the ones that are fully dedicated to them. So today we're gonna to groom, tack up, and just go for a little ride on Zazu, and I'm gonna tell you more about him. Hope you enjoy. Also horse lovers, today I am wearing my Winnie Wine lipstick. It's really beautiful, it's a nice deep plum, but it's not totally overbearing, and it has a little bit of sparkle to it. If you wanna support Free Spirit Equestrian, the best way to do so is ordering something off the Spirited Horse Boutique Link in the comments and the description. All right, Zazu, you ready to get groomed and then go for a ride? Let's do it. Okay, let's groom Mr. Zazu here. So he is about as chill as they come. I actually don't think I've met a horse more chill than Zazu, but also one that will still go. Like he is so much fun. Yes, you are. Yes, I got you some treats. We'll get you some. Okay, no joke, like Zazu always just is so chill. I kind of joke that like sometimes I'm like, it looks like he's drugged because he's just so relaxed. And he's like that all the time, unless he thinks he's getting food. That's the only time he's like <gasps> wide eyed and whatever. But he's still so fun to ride under saddle. Like I said, he's still forward, he'll go. He's a little more woe in the arena and on the trail, he's like point and shoot. But yeah, it just cracks me up because he's just always like loose lip, like, yeah, whatever, go with the flow. And it's just so interesting because all the horses have such different personalities. What are you doing? Penelope? Any kind of leftover grain she can find. You little scavenger. She's a little scavenger. I know, you precious boy. You're so sweet. Are you such a good boy? Oh, I know. He's so precious. This horse is worth his weight in gold, like times a million because he's just so gentle so fun i just i love him and you're so pretty and sleepy i should have named him sleepy from the seven doors and then we're gonna polish his mane and tail. An apple? Oh, yummy. It's the only time you're animated. You ate it all. You ate it all. All of you have been asking me if I've been using the mainly long on all of the horses and shocking their manes and tails. And the answer is yes. So. So we're going to put the polisher on Zazu's mane and tail. And like I said, if you want 10% off your first order from Mainly Long, you can use the code FREESPIRIT24, link in the comments and the description. Yes. Yes. This isn't edible. So I'm just going to put it at the top of his mane and then just kind of run my hands through it. You do have a very pretty mane and underneath. A little goes a long way. He actually does have a relatively like thick mane. And he's short enough that our current bale barns have not rubbed his mane out. You saw in my last video, we got the new ones, but his has not suffered because he's short. He's like 14 one or something, but you thick, short and fat. I love it. It's not a snack. It's not. You got some stuck. And no, I don't trim bridle paths because I don't like them. I just, it's just a personal preference, like aesthetic wise. You like being pampered. Okay, let's get his tail. Okay, now we're gonna 
brush through it. About as close to bomb proof as you get with this guy. I don't think I've ever even seen him spoof. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's tack them up. We're gonna ride Western. I got boots on. Kyle's got boots on. We're boot scooting. We got a palm ski. We got a spotted saddle horse. We're good to go here. All right, we're gonna ride Western in our super cute impact gel saddle pad. It's floral. Okay, so I have a couple different high horse saddles. Some of them are gated ones. Some of them have different size trees in them and they're from the same company, but I love this saddle so much. I've gotten different variations of it. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Oh no, he looks kind of wild. I don't know, Zazu. You look kind of crazy. Okay, I gotta adjust it to his face. I can't remember who I had it on last time. But this is my Auburn Classic. Right now you can order these on pre-order. Man, these bridles, guys, they are just selling out. Like I am not kidding. Every time I get them in stock, they only last a couple days. There might be a few sizes left here and there. But yeah, this one is just really nice because it doesn't have the triangle. I mean, I really like that look. They both, all the models have something to offer aesthetics wise. But this is just simple, classic. It's a little bit different red, auburn, brownish color. But it matches this saddle pretty good. It's not that far off, right Kyle? I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty close. So yeah, we're gonna pop this on. You ready? I know, hi. <laughs> hey, sweet boy. Oh, you just want snuggies. Okay. You sweetheart. You're so sweet. It's just crazy how sweet you are. It's crazy. You good boy, yes, that's so sweet of you. That's so sweet. All right, let's adjust this to you. All right, I have his bitless side pole on and I wanna show you some guidelines when it comes to fitting your bitless bridle. So you want two to three fingers below the zygomatic bone, so the cheekbone here. Okay, so this is in a really great spot. You want your nose band low enough where it's not on the infraorbital nerve because that's very sensitive. And you don't want it so low where it's gonna hit the tip of the nasal bone, okay? So that's kind of a rule of thumb. You want these to be right behind, sometimes they're farther back, sometimes they're close, but behind their cheekbone. You want your throat latch, you know, where you can fit quite a few fingers through it, but not super loose. And then same with the nose band. So you can go a little tighter with this if you want. It really just depends on your preference and your horse but you should definitely be able to fit two fingers through here, okay, stacked. With your brow band, it really just depends on the shape of it, but with these curved ones, they can sit out a little bit, but you wouldn't want them to be pushing really, really hard against their forehead or really far out. Like here, I can fit two, I can't quite fit three, but you wanna fit about two fingers, one to two fingers underneath your brow band. And with your brow band, you want it sitting closer up here, not where it's like pushing against the ear, and not sitting like on his temple, but just slightly above it, okay? And same with the buckle. You want the buckle below the temple and you want it either level or above the eye. So like this area, okay? You could draw like a little triangle. So just a little guidance in that area if you're wondering about that, hopefully that's helpful to you. And then our bridles have a cushioned pole, so it's all padded and then we have ear relief and pole relief. So lots of padding there and on the nose band and it's just, it's simple, it's comfortable and it's very gentle, so yeah. All right, Zazu, you ready to go for a ride? I don't know, I'm kind of scared, guys. He looks, he looks really worked up and I, I just, I don't know if I'm comfortable getting on him today. He's just so fiery and look at that, look at that eye. Wow. <laughs> Wake up, you goofball. Wake up. 
You look so cute. Look at this lip. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. Hello in there. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's go for a ride. I gotta get my helmet on. Koa, come here. You crazy. Go, go, go. Get him. Attack. <laughs> up, up, up. Up, up, up. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Up, 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 Koa. Zazu, <laughs> stay by me. Up, up, up. I think I need to do it. Go, go, up, up, up. Up, up, up. Woo! Good job. So again, just some facts about Mr. Zazu. He is a 13 year old spotted saddle horse and his color is buckskin Tobiano and he is gated. So if you don't know what gated means, I put a link in the description and the comments and you can read through that and it will kind of explain what a gated horse is, but basically they're designed to travel from point A to point B in a smooth manner. So sometimes arena work can be a little more difficult for the gated horses getting in the corners, but him and Arlo are both gated. They're my only gated horses here at the farm and they are just so sweet and do a great job. So we warmed up at the walk. Now we're gonna do some trot. Now I will do sitting trot on him and some posting as well. Now we're gonna ask for some canter. Of course, I warmed him up in the walk and trot for a little bit, and you're gonna see more of walk trot too. His canter is so freaking smooth. It is honestly one of the best canters I have ever ridden in my life. It is so comfortable, and it's amazing on the trail when you just have a nice straightaway and just this really nice rhythmic canter. It's the best thing in the world. Now we're back in our trot. So of course today is just more of a schooling ride, just a chill ride. So Zazu, like I said, he has done a ton of trail rides. I've taken him on camping trips. He's amazing in the lesson program. And then he has done some shows too. So he's just an all around good guy. And honestly, he's just so gentle. His only thing is he likes to pull to the middle if you let him and he's a little more woe than go, meaning if you let him slow down, he will and just looks for opportunities to stop. Arlo's kind of like that too, but they both feel very different. Even though they're gated horses, they feel completely different and they have totally different personalities. But Zazu is honestly probably my favorite horse to ride here. Between him and Jiminy, I just adore them. open. There is something just so special about a calm, quiet horse who you know is going to keep you safe for the most part. You know what I mean? All horses can be dangerous, but at the end of the day, I just feel so comfortable riding him. Where when I'm riding Mushu or Lumiere, like, you know, they're newer, they're younger, and they still need a lot of work, it's totally different. It's not always fun to train and ride younger horses or horses who are green. It's very rewarding and in the long run, it pays off, but there's just something great about getting on a horse that's so steady and trustworthy.
I don't plan on selling Zazu anytime soon, maybe in the future, but I definitely just want to enjoy him for myself. Like I want to hit the trails with him this spring, summer and fall. And like I said, he's awesome in the program. So I just really want to enjoy him. And he could be one that I end up just keeping for myself because I enjoy him so much. But at the same time, he's just such a good freaking horse that somebody out there would just absolutely adore him like I do because he's just so safe and steady. So we'll see, but yeah, he's not gonna be for sale anytime soon, if ever. The other cool thing about Zazu is even though he's gated, he actually jumps pretty well, all things considered. And he's even gone over cross country jumps. Like <laughs> he is just such a good all around boy. I'm just so lucky that I have him and that he came into my life at the exact time that I really needed him. And again, if I'm just looking for a chill, have fun, kick back ride, especially on the trails, he is my go-to, especially for trail rides. Like I love to lead with him. He's brave, he doesn't spook. I mean, he's just so fun. And that's just really hard to find. A lead horse that doesn't spook, but will go forward. It's just not out there. It's hard, it's very hard to find. Now, like I said, in the indoor arena, he does need a little bit more encouragement in the corners. And it's just because it's more narrow and gated horses, it's just not as natural for them to go around corners when they're trotting or cantering. And this isn't to blame anyone or anything. It's just the plain truth. When horses do lessons, they do pick up bad habits. Like for example, him wanting to stop more and pull to the middle is just from him learning that he can in certain situations during lessons. And it happens with every horse, but you have to learn somewhere. It's just something that I wanted to point out. Okay, so I gave him a little break and now we're just gonna work on some trot and jog since we did a lot of cantering. And I just want him to go a little bit slower and I'm gonna sit and just ask him to move out nicely. He's like, wait, are we cantering again? And then he realized, okay, we're just trotting. And I also have him on a very, very loose rein, like basically to the buckle. So yeah, he's doing good. Now, if only we could clone Zazu in every size and color, then I would be set for life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love all of my horses dearly. And the nice part is I have all different breeds, different sizes, especially throughout all the horses that I've owned. You know what I mean? I mean, literally every shape and size almost you could imagine. And it's been fantastic because even though I'm not a perfect rider, I'm not a super high level rider, but I can get on a horse and I can work with them and I can ride a variety of different breeds and disciplines. So I love that. I don't want to just drill one thing into my horse or myself. I like being an all-around rider and just doing different things every time I ride. Good job, Zazu. Good job. Good. Boy. All right, horse lovers, I really hope you enjoyed this video and hanging out with Zazu for a little bit. He's a good boy. It was a good ride. So horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with the horses. And we'll see you next time. Bye.